Whoa, sick transition, dude. Yeah, I know, I'm aware of that. Uh, now though, we're gonna go mess around in the snow. Okay, now we're outside. It's really cold, but as you can see, it snowed. And it hasn't snowed here in a while, and I really, for some reason, want to make an igloo. There's only about three inches of snow. I kind of already started right there. We honestly don't even have that much snow. Look at this. It's like, it's not that much, but I think it's enough to build an igloo right there, but I'm not sure. The trash cans are in the way, I think. So we're gonna, we're gonna get those out of the way. And now we're going to start moving all of the snow into that pile right there. Okay, gonna be honest here, the snow is actually piling up pretty high. It's, I've moved it like hardly any out of the driveway so far, but it's already three feet high, I'd say. That is definitely three feet high to me. Look at this. It's my leg. Goes up to about my knee. So I would say this igloo is definitely going to happen. All right, so far the igloo is coming along very well. I have stacked up all the snow and now it's time to form it with the shovel, which is gonna be this shovel here. Just gonna pat it down a bunch and make it into the igloo type shape. And then I'm gonna start carving into it, but right now it's stacked up high. I would say about maybe three, three and a half feet, a little more than I was saying earlier. So, I mean, the igloo's coming along. It probably is not gonna be the best igloo, but hey. It's an igloo. It's an igloo and that's all that matters. Where, where, where do I put the entrance at? I think it'd be kind of cool right here, but it'd be weird because this drops down. But I think we're gonna go with right there. Right there is gonna be the entrance. Gonna make a little hole and then a hole in the inside. Entrance to the igloo is complete. Let me show you it. So right here is going to be the hole in which you enter, dug by the square shovel. But as you can see, the hole ends at about right above my knee, which is a tight squeeze. Let me show you. All right. So I underestimated the size of my body and ugh. Welcome to inside of the igloo. As you can tell, I'm laying, I'm laying down because it is a very tight squeeze. I underestimated the size of myself and I have to lay down to get inside of it. It's, it's pretty freaking small. You wanna see a room tour? So right here we have snow and right here we have snow unfortunately the igloo kind of just collapsed on top of myself while I was inside of it so yeah I don't think we can build it anymore gonna be honest because I had the camera inside of the igloo and it fell on top of the camera and on top of me as you just saw in the previous footage. I, I don't even know how that happened. But hey, the igloo is currently out of functioning business. I don't want to show it to you because I'm embarrassed by it. 
which sucks. So I guess we're gonna go have some more fun in the snow. We can do something else. Sled with a dog. Sounds fun.